what is up everybody it's Grim here hope you're all good now we are back on the monk and we are looking at our auction house and we put a load of stuff up easy for me to say we put a load of stuff up on Monday and now we're here to look now not all the auctions are finished yet obviously I think by sort of ugh, certainly by five o'clock today all the auctions will be done and dusted but as yet they are still up there now we did sell an item I know you guys have been going, what? Well, we sold one thing. We had we had 1,200 gold on the auction house. You're telling me we've sold one thing. Yep, we sold one thing. We sold a frigid war mace of stamina for 18 gold. This is actually really good news. And here's why. When we put all this stuff up there on Monday, I, I was pretty certain we actually wouldn't sell anything. Let's collect that cash over here. Woo! We've gone up. <laughs> I was actually pretty certain we wouldn't sell any. Well, I was pretty confident we would not sell anything at all. The reason being is because getting to know your server. I already know that on the server I'm on, which is Chamber of Aspects EU, the basically nothing sells throughout the week. It's just one of those things. It's a medium pop server for a start. You need to be aware of that. But it tends to be that you want to put things on on a Friday for you know the 48 hours over the weekend and then things generally sell also it is a real yo-yo server in terms of prices let's go have a look show you what i mean Woo! in we go okay frostweave is a good example let's go frostweave cloth all right now mine's in here there we go there's me now if I go by, and yep, Frost, we've got, I don't know why I didn't use this one to begin with. So I'm all the way up here, 174 gold, which would have been a nice return on profit. Now, I don't mind what I would get for it, but you can see here, there is a stack of 116 for 1 gold, 33 silver. Now, that will all buy up, and the prices will go back up to sort of 190. It's ridiculous. I don't know what it is about this server. It may be the same on your server, but the prices go whoop, 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 constantly. It's just one of those things you got to get used to. I mean, if you're a big player, you have a decent bit of cash, you just buy out some stacks. You set in your mind where is a good price. So if you say 150 is a good price, I will buy this stack. Okay, so in fact, let's, let's do it. We're going to buy that stack. And in fact, we're going to cancel our auction. Boom! There we go. Loads of frost weave cloth. There we go. So, what we can now do is we can go sell. As I say, I'm I would be happy with like 150 something like that. So I have no issue with that price going up. 300 gold. Create auction. And we will chuck that one up as well. 91, create auction. Now, fingers crossed that will sell. I don't know. But that's like the next phase. That's when you can start buying and selling, manipulating the auction house. Now, that's a risk because I've actually laid out money there. I was up. I had 680 gold because I'd sold the mace. I was up. I was doing well. I've actually just gambled that that Frostweave is going to sell for that price because now that I've actually invested money, I need that to sell at a certain price for me to actually gain some money back. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to get these shoulders sold. Now, I haven't gone and run any more instants or anything like that. It was actually down here in this little corner. That's where that space is. I realized it's a bond and equip. I had a quick look at it. It's not something I want to wear. It's not something I want for transmogging. So I have no problem at all with selling it. Now, there's no price guide for this, so we're having a look... And again, using our TSM to give us a rough guide. Now, to be fair, these look like shit. I really don't have any interest. I know that to a vendor, it's going to sell for 11 gold. Supposedly, the average sale price is 187 gold. I don't believe it. Well, I I do believe it because TSM is telling me, but I certainly wouldn't spend that. We've got market value is 125 gold. As I said, the vendor item is 11 gold. So I have no problem with saying, do you know what? Fuck it, 50 gold and I'm happy. That's five times what the vendor will pay me for it and I'm never going to use it. So I have no problem with that. Let's whack it onto 48 hours. Boom. 
put that on the auction house. There we go. Fingers crossed that will sell. Now, just winding down, because these videos aren't meant to be very long. I don't want them going, well, preferably not longer than five minutes. This one is. Apologies. I will be rounding them down so they're a little bit more snappy, but bear with me for now. Okay, what we're going to do with this when it all comes off, because we've got all these greens, and then we have now all this frost weave. We've also got giant spider, and we've got these shoulders. The shoulders I'm not going to worry about. They're on until Thursday now, so I have no problem with them. The frost weave, fingers crossed it sells. Who knows? Hopefully it does. The bone spider, I know that is not going to sell. I said at the time I thought the price was too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a rule in TSM for these items. So we've got some standard pricing. Maybe say, you know, something like this, which is six gold. I have no problems in that bang. Fifteen gold. Go straight up there for that. You know, we're just going to create general standard items, if not even 10 gold for that. The global average sale price is 11. Fuck it, it's on for 11. It's probably not going to sell. I wouldn't mind 10 gold, as I say, for something like that. Weapons a little bit more, because they tend to be a little bit more desirable. Stuff like this. We've got 30 gold, 20 gold, 14 gold. We'll just standardize all of that. We'll say, you know, 12 gold, something like that. That's what I'm going to be working on. TSM might do a separate video because I've never done it before so it'd be interesting for me to see how to do it because we don't want to be fucking about with shit like this. This is just we want this out the door. So I don't care if I lower the price so it is you know, enough that I'm going to recoup so a profit over the um, over the vendor but I don't want to be greedy. I just want to I want to shift this shit so it builds my cash flow up so that we can start dealing with the big stuff. We can start buying mounts, flipping them for good profit all that sort of thing. Also, next we're going to be looking at professions. We look at how the professions she has inscription, how that's going to help me gain more money. Because these greens, that's chump change. We don't want to be bothering with these. We want to be making some serious cash. But that's be done, guys. That is our update. Fingers crossed, these go through. We'll have a look on Friday. Friday, we will set up for the big weekend sale. And then Monday, fingers crossed, we will have a shit ton of gold. Anyway, guys, that's me done. Apologies, this took a lot longer than I expected, or a lot longer than I wanted. And I will catch you all later on. Have a good one.